Hi, in this video we're going to go over how to properly configure your WP Super Cache. We're working with a site called Naturescapes, um, who has a lot of images, a lot of JavaScript on their site. Uh, when you run this test, this is a site called pingdomtools.pingdom.com, and it's just kind of a site load tester. And uh, they have it at about 5.59 seconds, which is obviously kind of slow. Um, so I'm already logged into my dashboard and I'm here in the WP Super Cache settings and I've gone to contents and there's a refresh button in contents and basically it told me I have zero cache pages, 10 expired pages in the WP Cache. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the Super Cache but basically what it's telling me is that there's only one cache page and all the ones are expired and the reason for this is because when you default install super cache and you think it's up and running and working um, really you haven't properly configured it um, to do what it needs to do um, so we'll just start here on the easy tab where you're going to start off um, caching is on um, you can test the cache that should be working but um, like I said it's not really caching your whole site so the fact that it is indeed working um, it's not really working to its fullest ability so I'm going to go here to the advanced tab I have compressed pages so they're on. When you first install this, this is off. Um, and then I also have don't cache pages for known users. I want to turn that on. Uh, when you first install super cache, this is actually off. Um, other than that, there aren't really any other things. We have mobile device support on. Um, Clear cache file whenever a post or page is published, that is good. I'm not worried about extra home page checks. Um, so all this stuff looks good. And I'll click update. I'm going to go to this tab called preload. It's probably the most important thing um, to turn on preload mode. I'm going to refresh this every 120 minutes so that it looks to refresh the preloaded cache files every two hours. I'm going to do all posts um, because it's not a huge blog. If you had several thousand posts you might not want to do that because it'll bog down your host with all these cache files. Um, I'm going to turn on preload mode. Um, I'm not going to preload my tags or categories. I'm not really worried about that. Um, I don't want any emails when they're refreshed. And so I'm going to click preload cache now. There we go. Update settings. The other thing I do is I go to plugins and we use a plugin called WP Touch so I just want to make sure that's enabled um, and I don't use any of these other plugins but if you did you'd want to turn them on. So now if I go back here to contents and I can click this regenerate cache stats I'll see that I have now 88 cache pages. Um, I'll come back here to advanced Now this is where I'm not really sure how it works. Expiry times and garbage collections. Then it has this warning, preload mode is activated, super cache files will not be deleted regardless of age. So I'm not really sure you have to do anything here, but I figured it wouldn't hurt um, just to set this to 12 so that it, I guess, deletes all the expired files at midnight every night or at noon. Um, I would do this once daily. I don't want an email for it. Um, And this says 3600. So I'm not really sure if this is helping anything, but I figure it doesn't hurt to do. So I'll do that. Um, and now that we have everything configured, I'm going to run this site test again. So we've actually gone from about six seconds or five and a half all the way down to two seconds which is just great. Um, it's still saying that it's not I don't know why this still says 62 of 100 but basically by properly configuring my super cache I've actually got it to do what I want it to do.